Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to beat the game. Uh, beating is still is, uh, way too much. Where we're trying to survive in the game on Legendary Iron Man difficulty. And we have installed 90 mods. It is time for Operation Cursed Fog and those 90 mods, including uh, Yellow Alert, Double Enemy, Squad Side, and so on and so forth, <clears throat> will be coming more and more oppressive as the game goes on. I can already tell. I mean, we fail due, uh, failed due to the mods to upgrade our armor still. I'm running on fumes in, in that department. And we're having these weird side goals uh, from time to time. So those are extra advent projects. Project Thunder Mountain in this case apparently deploys uh, stormtroopers. Um, but uh, those stormtroopers are not just your average uh, Star Wars stormtroopers. But they are essentially um, stun lances with the ability to stun lance from range. So that sounds pretty scary. A very difficult mission means we're likely going to run into the hunter plus just a huge amount of enemies bandits on top of dark elders on top of like literally everything so it's not going to be pretty um, what i managed to do is um, we were just on the brink of uh, finishing that resistance operation and I'm, I actually managed to finish uh, that right before the mission uh, starts. Uh, so we squeezed it in, freed up uh, um, our soldiers because we had not enough soldiers and we would have needed to take fatigued soldiers into the mission, which in return would have caused mental problems for them. And then, you know, the same problem over and over, having the negative effects stacking up. So we didn't want that. Hayward uh, and Endors as a sniper team had been on the last run and appropriate Murphy as well. Somehow he inappropriately sneaks into many of these missions. But this time we have a couple of new ones. Barbie, uh, for instance, um, is back. Bubble uh, makes a return. And Sonar has also returned from his latest engagement on covert actions. Everybody's fully kitted with with the best of um, to the best of our abilities, and I built one extra um, one extra um, Elarium core into ammunition. This time we got tracer rounds, which I definitely put onto one of uh, the gunners. That will make our hit chance even better. Together with that superior scope in the gun, we should be really really good. So. Uh, that's as far as it goes. Let's see if we can actually make it happen in this mission. Alright, we just landed. Let's take a look. Uh, sewer, or in the corner. It's a little bit of high ground here. I know that tile. Well, see, looks like the typical S shape. And I'm... A bit afraid of what might be <clears throat> lurking ahead. Specifically since there are Dark Elders and a lot of other enemies here, it was uh, it was said to be a very difficult mission. And I, I think the game doesn't take these um, specifications too lightly. In this game mode, very difficult means indeed very difficult. So let's see if we can somehow wiggle our way through this. Trying to take as much high ground as possible, <clears throat> just so that we're not missing any shots. Ooh, what is that? See, the Dark Elders have a secret. Uh, whenever I meet them, they come with a new, even more imbalanced unit than they had before. And I'm always trying to understand how do they do that? It is the the units are already incredibly overpowered, but yet every single time they just manage to pull an even more overpowered unit out of the head. Strange. Okay. Stopped. 
the Prime Collector is moving right into our direction. So he will next turn potentially spot us out. And we just got the sign um, of the general. <coughs> that is interesting. Seeing some broken down debris here, which means the elders have moved to here and are now spotting out the general. Okay. Okay. Well. We maybe are capable of using that to our advantage so move, move, move. if we were to push forward we would see the dark elders okay cool bubble it's a position up here Hayward needs a position up there. Inappropriate Murphy needs a position right there. And I think we're just going to overwatch in order to make sure that once the drone runs into us, that we actually have enough uh, firepower to kill it. ever so closely good there's the general oh and there are bandits on top of what we're seeing interesting that's a new unit the perch veteran vanguard and he seems to have up and close or close combat which if I recall correctly, it is an XCOM 1 skill that the Rangers uh, tended to have. Now it's time for the Advent General. Oh boy, he's moving behind enemies' lines. That's not good. We need to get this guy. And the Raiders have just um, aggressed on top of what they anyways were doing. Good, that Vanguard veteran has a problem. So does the General. Uh, okay, that is Blind Rage. Oh boy. I hate my own rules because the literal optimal play here would be to just let them poke it out. I mean, the timer hasn't even started. That unfortunately that's not what we can do it's not what we came here to do instead let's give our frontliner barbie an aid protocol we need to kill the drone first and then it is really up to everybody's guess whom we're fighting next Nice little crit, 12 points of damage, that is good. Down to one hit point. <laughs> oh, that guy is going to town. I think he has uh, had five or six shots already. Okay, well.
Oh, that would be a fantastic alternative, but I think we need to go for the for the general. Question is, are we in the best potential position? Well, we are in a decent one, full cover for this round. And this here should open the wall quite a bit. Can we hit a third unit? Well, yeah, why why wouldn't we? No, that would not allow us to hit the general. So that's the play. We gotta hit and injure the general. Good. Free shot into that overwatch. The guy is burning. I can see a lot of elders, but that's not what we came here for. That being said... I promise to intervene with a fight. And intervene I shall. This here should slow down the Berserker considerably. He's now poisoned. We're not seeing anyone right now, but I don't want to leave high ground in cover, so we're just going to overwatch. They are pretty far away from where we are. Oh no. Oh no. Let's get it done. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's see oh no. It, it is not strategic to remain here. No. The Viper King on top of everything else. What? The guy has close combat and he can create shields? Kill the general, guys. Alright, the bandits. I don't have high hopes for this faction at all. I do not have any hopes for that faction. Matter of fact, yeah, they are. They are, as always, all over the place. Yep, blind rage. Go for that advent general, guys. Okay, we can't push. Because uh, the master of all snacks is here. Gotta deal with that general. And I think this here might be the right play. Still staying in my current position. Should, should I go a little bit back now? Potentially not. such bad odds but equally what what should we do can't remove uh, the cover here the uh, the general has a fantastic non-destructible cover fifty fifty at best <clears throat> And we do not have holo targeting, do we? No shredder. No holo targeting. 
Damn it. Alright, sonar moves up just a tiny bit. Let's get that assassin. 50-50 didn't work out as planned. I think we can't really hit uh, the general. So might as well be the better choice. 15% is just not cutting it, guys. Sure thing. Using the flanking opportunity. Yeah, I didn't get it. He's down to what? Two hit points. Well, that's still not good enough. Team working into Barbie. <clears throat> there we go. What did you expect? Gonna need to reload soon. That's the best shot that we could get 50 50, almost 60%. I'm taking that. Ah. Anders, you had one job and one job only, and you screwed it up. Oh, I wanted to use uh, the flashbang. Well, it's okay. We can still use it next turn. Might be a good idea to let the Berserks just roam freely. The bandits are, as always, getting the short end of the stick here. The reason why I'm not fighting too harshly against the Dark Elder Berserkers is... I think Advent has always had has the strongest units on the battlefield, so our job should really be to destroy Advent. All right, go for go for the general, guys. Dark Elder reinforcements, yes. You cannot kill me. Oh boy. More reinforcements. Oh, the pack sizes. How? Why? How is that even allowed? Oh boy. Wait, what? They just remove cover? Holy shit. I think we're trapped with both of the Berserkers. At least it looks like that. No Alright, Bubble needs to move up. I can only attack kind of the first enemies that we're seeing and at this point we're looking at these grotesques Not a problem. all right face drones core question if we were to lock a grenade like deep deeply into the enemies. Hmm, that might impact uh, the captain to not run away too fast.
Okay, I'll keep that as an option. For now, let's focus on the Berserks. Good, so he's poisoned and he's burning at the same time. Love it, down to 11 hit points. Yeah, let's just <clears throat> make sure we're dealing with a full hit point setup here. Drown down to one HP. That is not what I wanted. Alright, this should be solid kill. Okay, he will die due to the burning. Alright, more of them are coming and we're flanked. I love when that is happening. Don't need time to deal with these issues when we get back. Just randomly shows up and kills someone. You cannot sustain your attack. It is not strategic to remain here. Okay, well the general is off. Let's hope we will get him back uh, and the Dark Elders can catch him. I was trying my best. But it seems uh, there are just too many um, alien forces. Like, this is out of hand completely. Okay, Dark Elders, move in. Well, we know there is a general. If you can somehow identify this guy as the main target, that would be awesome. We can't push into that. The Viper King is uh, still there. And it seems uh, they have not really gotten any closer. All right. Time to mark this assassin. Advent needs to take most of the damage at this point and not anyone else. Good time for reload here. Nope, that didn't work out. Good, that worked out like a charm. Problem is I can't push into, uh, into this area. Trying to get a few more targets for us.
Edwin Shield Bearer. Well, that might be a good target to actually go for. We don't have enough. Um, we don't have enough time left over. No. Okay. So let's try to hit this guy. Interesting how we can see it through the wall, but that's okay. Good. Time to hit. Time to hit the Viper King. It is not strategic to remain here. All right. Cool. Edward General is still on his way out. I am sincerely hoping that he'll catch some random shots. Oh, he goes back in. I like it. Well, that Perch Veteran certainly acts like a boss. Guys, I need a couple of Dark Elders left over. Specifically, attack the General, please. Oh, how RNG can be a, a nuisance here. Yeah, we're now taking a couple of shots as well. And there's another Dark Elder uh, pack coming. So that was a smart idea. Reloading and a protocol that should not trigger a reaction. Good, so we got long watch, which means we can overwatch without triggering a reaction. This here should shred him. Very nice, very nice. Not so nice. Good. Free actions do not trigger. Hence, we can and should do them. Could charge in like an idiot, but that really wouldn't sit super well. All right, let's go. Nice little crit. Burning on top of it. I like it. Well, I have bigger problems uh, than worrying about uh, the Viper King escaping. We can't kill him, so might as well just reload. Fifty-fifty. That veteran is a problem. Uh, 
but it's only a 50-50 as well. To be entirely honest, I think we need to withdraw here. We are pushed up way too far. Good, not bad, not fantastic either, Overwatch, and here we go, two more turns, come on, knock on wood, we need that uh, help, Okay, that was our chance to actually kill the Purge Veteran. Oh, he will get a retaliation shot, right? Yep. Nice. Okay, so he's poisoned. That means he will die. Retaliation shot? No. Come on, go for the... Uh, general like it's not that difficult the guy is called general for a reason in warfare if you would see a general you would go for him uh, as well they wouldn't be on the front line to be entirely honest but okay berserker does what a berserker does hulk smash kill the general At least they tried. Difficult to push forward. We know he's somewhere there. I'm going. All right, let's go for that mutant. Shred him nicely. And hopefully that will... Oh no, it will not. Now I think we're leaving the... the Berserk alone for now. Not the best position over here, but one that we could defend. That's okay. Inappropriate Murphy. I need more firepower at the front line. So we're slowly but surely moving towards... Uh, the enemy general, but there's only so much I can do. Cannot randomly push into into the unknown. All right, that should have pulled that extra pack. In the meantime, the raiders are fighting with the shield bearer here, which is totally fine. Oh, is that a counterattack? No, mutant is not counterattack. Come on, hit him. Nice, stunned for two rounds. Oh, 
Okay, it is... It's still going. What an abomination of a fight. Look, we could... We try to explode that whole thing, right? Yes. Alright, let's do that. We need to reload anyway, so this is convenient. Come on. This might explode that little machinery there. Richter carefully moving forward. Okay, let's see what our snipers can and cannot see. Can see a perch trooper. That was a dodge, right? Yep, that seemed to have been a dodge. That's unfortunate. A protocol sonar is going to be our front line for now. Good, we're repositioning a little bit, reloading, and that should be fine. Good, the general is stunned, so he cannot move at this very moment. Lots and lots of poison damage, which is great. Oh boy, these guys are going to town with one another. Just too many hit points uh, back here. We need to clean up some of uh, the enemy hit points. This is ridiculous. But if we want to have a chance of even winning that mission, I need to continue to push in for now. Pretty, pretty nice positioning up there. few bandits are still are still alive and uh, running the advent general is down to two hit points not sure who is winning i think we Need to carefully take out some of the advents as well. Sonar, has he finally spotted the general? Yes, very much so. Any of our snipers? Well, we can at least start hurting the elders, like I said. I think our problem will soon be that the Dark Elders are too strong. Never thought that XCOM on the tactical layer will be a faction management game. Oh, finally. Thank you. 
That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Inappropriate Murphy moves into full cover. This here would be a good position. I might actually take it. Yeah, why not? Okay, well, so we can slow down a little bit. Not much, but at least a little bit. It seems as if uh, Advent is now having problems with the immense hit point pools of the Elders. Oh, wow. Stun, poison, shredding, all in one shot. Alright, certainly doesn't help that uh, the last remaining advent are now slowly but surely being killed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, what a massacre. Okay, so now that we have killed that absolute stupid general we might be able to deal with these guys here all right hitting the dark elder there we go i would say we're just gonna stay in cover for a round Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Thinking about repositioning to here, but it might be too early. Instead, let's reload and overwatch. We're good, we're good. All right, two brutes are going um, head to head against each other. Love to see it. Dark Elder Grotesque versus some sort of other Berserker brute. And now they have found the Dark Elder Grotesque and they are mercilessly going to town with it. Not good. Enders is poison, and I think we do not have a med kit. Okay. Male. Poison typically uh, runs off. Does anyone else have a med kit? No. Damn it, we might need to extract him next. Evac, I mean. That's a good chance to hit. Absolutely. Moving over here to make room for inappropriate Murphy. Nice little hit. I can that. Inappropriate Murphy moves in. And deals with the Elder.
Endors slightly moves back. Let's hope the poison is not getting the better of him. Hayward reloads. Come on, I need Enders. Alright, so they got that grotesque down. Poison is still up. That is going to be a difficult maneuver. Okay, so the mutant is actually in range for inappropriate Murphy. Seventy-five percent shot failed to connect. Rock and roll. Trying to get that prime assassin. Can't really see anything with the snipers. That's a bit of a problem. We could move in here, but that would be really, really greedy. Haven't seen much of the elders in that area lately, but that doesn't mean they are not there anymore. This here is a nice full cover spot though. I think we need to play this a bit more aggressive. Not too aggressive, but a bit more. Endor's overwatches, Haywire overwatches, and poison hopefully stops soon. There's the long watch. Come on. Oh, come on. Nice. How many is they that will now? Be as we are. No longer poisoned. Okay, he's... Oh, one hit point. He's still with us. I love it. The tension. The drama. Everything. All right, that's the right play. Sonar goes to town on that prime collector assassin. He shot him so hard that the guy is standing upright in the wall. All right, Overwatch. Endors takes a long, a long watch. Hayward takes a long watch. We, have confirmation. <laughs> we actually made it. Wait a second. What happened with the bandits? Oh, there was only one left, and the he ran into us. The shield bearer died from poison. The last reinforcement pack of elders got almost wiped out. No, we really did it? <laughs> that was close, so close. I figured there, I completely lost count. I figured there must be another pack back there. But yeah, the last two, like, Dark Elder Warriors also charged into us. Mind you, one uh, hit us with a poison. But then both of them were essentially dispatched. 
Oh boy. Well, if that is a very difficult mission, I don't know what the later game missions are going to look like. We <laughs> just, just the idea of having that uh, snake king with full health, like freshly out, uh, freshly out of his restroom, uh, joining the fight that is already uh, inbound, and then hundreds of hit points on each side. That was great. Unfortunately, not for all of us. Uh, Barbie is uh, is going to be uh, missed inappropriate Murphy. Very nice. And we got into we got 70 supplies. Couple of purifiers. Officer. Yeah, the only thing that we did not get is another trooper. Hmm. Well, well, it was a great mission. I mean, you can't really you can't really have it all. There is another engineer. And I'm wondering yeah, we just put them here. We got enough engineers now to speed up the process. Just getting blue screen rounds in itself will be helpful. Our armory gets a bit light. We still have enough lieutenants and sergeants, but I hope the game will give us um, more soldiers. And everybody, by the way, now is tired, gravely wounded, wounded, and you name it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even with better gear. Uh, that is nasty. Sixteen kills. Seemingly endless supply of gear. We lost our uh, we lost our Reaper there. Another scientist? Uh, I am valuing that quite highly, but I would also like to make contact. We can't do both immediately. Let's first make contact and then get the scientist. Oh, that might be the fourth uh, ruler, so that might be the mech ruler. Stone Age. Uh, let me just double check what that means. Okay, it says uh, when that is coming through that the, it will greatly reduce the avatars, uh, um, uh, the Avengers power. Whatever greatly means. I mean, I can only imagine, based on the hardcoreness of uh, the side goals, that that actually means like setting it to a tenth. Nice. We got blue screen protocol. That is so good. Blue screen rounds on top of it. Skulljack next. Um, I like it. I would love to buy uh, to to build a spark, guys, but it's it's being heavy at the moment. Uh, quite difficult, and uh, we might also want to go with a frost bomb first. There we go. That way, I can uh, take that with me and deal with a snake. Okay, so what are we going to do? I think we wanted to finish making contact. Fantastic. That now gets us back to 50 income. It's not a lot, but it is at least something. And I think we wanted to get more intel next. Um, because I need another facility lead. This here is not looking great. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. 
Fantastic. Look at that. Improved assault rifles. Uh, plus one damage on all assault rifles. That will go a long way. Good. So we got reduction of the avatar project. Could get a faction soldier, which would be very welcome, but I think we're going with uh, the project here. That's a nice mission as well. But we gotta deal with the immediate risks. Let's level up Wilson. Let's level up Wilson real quickly. And then we need to send him on this mission. Wilson the second actually uh, works through covert ops missions almost exclusively. And already got his uh, first promotion out of it. Now a corporal. Good job, buddy. All right, Avatar Project. Um, you know, yeah, that would even reduce the time by one day, right? Right, okay, because they are bond level two already. So, might as well send them in. Someone will get injured, that's fine, but no one gets captured, and we will buy ourselves more time. Gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, this is not the kind of campaign where I can build a super soldier just from scratch. I need to pick up uh, the scraps left and right, and that's really all we get, guys. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. Good. Powered armor. That is what we're looking for. Chrysalid Ripper for free. No, 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 no. Not inspired. I thought it was for free. Um, Powered armor. Alloys, mutant autopsy, and crystals. Well, guess what? Mutant autopsy next. Because I need hit points. Uh, this is completely ridiculous. And I need alien alloys, which then again requires intel, so potentially we will need to uh, decode another data pad. It's all taking a lot of time, and whilst this is going on... Oh, we need to... we need to do that, because if we're not doing it, we're losing the access to that country yet again. But who is even available? The game is just throwing too many missions at us. Thankfully, we have invested into an infirmary. And we got a relatively good team available. So, one, two, three, four. Wilson will maybe get a uh, get his go at it. And, yeah, we're, we need to interrupt negative trade removal. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's a team. I. Uh, this is the, the since a long time. This is the first time that I am actually struggling on the strate uh, strategic layer. And I let me just tell you what my problem is. So, at the moment, we do have a a lot of problems but the main issue is there are too many things that are not going well uh, for me to fix them at the same time so uh, i know when push comes to shove whenever you need to do forced decision making it is important to identify like your primary goal clearly that is the avatar project at this point so that needs to uh, the, that needs to happen, which is why we're reducing it and why I'm trying to get another facility lead from somewhere um, or try to expand so that we're 
at least having a chance of countering um, countering it without needing to res uh, resolve uh, back to school jacking um, some advent that might not even happen so that's problem number one uh, but there are a couple of other issues uh, namely the continuous uh, shortage of resources uh, which is uh, is in itself a problem because I can't really build any additional items but since I'm equally on the, at the same time um, uh, corpse blocked uh, with the trooper corpses I cannot even advance the normal route of research so the, the whole falling behind the curve on the um, on the technology layer that's another big issue then I'm trying to expand in order to just create enough enough supplies and effectively fight off uh, the um, the aliens but every time I try to do that there's another mission that's coming up and due to low hit points because we can't really upgrade the armor and just losing um, operatives left and right the roster gets smaller and everybody is gravely gravely injured so it's it is it is difficult plus we really don't have that many supplies to recruit more maybe what i should be doing i hate to do that but maybe i should be uh, spending some money to actually get a few uh, fresh faces in um... I mean, we got a few viewer characters for sure that uh, would love to be here. I know all of these here are viewer characters. And maybe that's the right play, just getting a couple of uh, squaddies in. Can help us out. We're the bar. And uh, trying to deepen the roster that way. Yeah, it's a difficult uh, choice, but then again, I need the money to actually upgrade uh, upgrade our armor. How many soldiers do we have from each class as well? So four grenadiers, that's enough for more or less four teams. Uh, three rangers, so we're short. One ranger, four sharpshooters. For specialists so we do have three and a half squads he actually could use another specialist and another ranger and see that's another problem i i would love to do covert actions uh, just to uh, recruit kind of uh, that extra skirmisher and that extra uh, reaper that would give us a deeper roster but we're not even having time for that because I need to reduce the avatar progress because they already have, like, what, three um, facilities and are making progress. I'm not even start uh, trying to start with kind of the side gigs that they are launching. Uh, without our fault, we already have seen the first side goal come through. So that's a problem. And I'm not trying to complain. I mean, uh, it was clear that we're going to uh, lose this, uh, this campaign sooner or later. But... It is harsh to just see how um, how all of the different uh, areas of the game are getting clocked at the same time. So how, how many supplies do we have? We can spend, I think, 80 on two recruits. That is prudent. Uh, let's maybe get someone whom we haven't had. Lyrical, why not? Yeah, we haven't had her in a while. So, uh, I said we needed another shot, uh, specialist and another ranger. Hmm, what do we need first? Yeah, let's go with that extra specialist. Although, I reconsidered we have four specialists. Let's actually uh, go with that extra ranger. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, that's the worst time, guys, to find out that you uh, feel a deeper love for one another. We are about to invade a UFO. If you both uh, survive that, then afterwards we can talk about it. So Stone Age and Recursor. Let's just double check what Recursor is as well. Recursor says uh, the aliens deploy an algorithm, a fusion of Mac and Spectre that is capable of deep cloning an entire sp uh, squad. So there you go. Sounds fantastic. We're still one out of three. And those were the least problematic ones. Matter of fact, the dark events actually look uh, somewhat reasonable still uh, but they will very soon be worse all right uh, so if you do have a side goal such as uh, invade uh, Saiken's channel uh, then think about clicking that like button down there because I was told uh, that is the quickest way of getting uh, that side goal achieved take care and see you in two days